newborn babe opens his eyes and history, his story, begins again. It happens every time all over the world. Whatever has come before is all part of the hazy and distant past. To them what happened yesterday is a story being told, being heard for the very first time. Imagine yourself just getting your start on what you will know from today on. A black man sits in the white man's house. A Latina sits on the court. Times are hard everywhere. People are out of work. Your people are out of hope. A newborn baby opens his eyes and his story, his story, his story begins again. It happens every time all over the world. Whatever has come before is all part of the hazy, distant past. Too many people are on the streets. Scarecrows and beggars abound. A war is being fought in far off lands. Body bags are piling up in all camps. And if you're ghetto bound, it would appear the war is being fought on the street where you live. The schools are out of money and books. Dispassionate and beleaguered teachers go through the motions and count the heads in the hours of the day. There's no learning going on here. Certain blocks are safe if you wear the red and know the hand signs. Other blocks are painted blue and you walk around, walk around, walk around if you know what's good for you. A newborn baby opens his eyes and his story, his story, his story begins again. It happens every time all over the world. Whatever has come before is all part of the hazy and distant past. Your daddy is gone. If you're lucky, he's serving his country in some way, fighting in the deserts, or making license plates and steel furniture. Or maybe you see him every day and don't even know it, because he's one of the walking undead that you hurry past, because they scare and disgust you. Maybe you know exactly where he is and where he will forever and always be six feet under, just up the way in a green park, with grim statues and names on stones and stones. Your baby mama and grandmama are there doing the best they can with no education, no qualification or viable vocation. Cause the schools have been dead a long, long time around here. A newborn baby opens his eyes and his story, his story, his story begins again. It happens every time all over the world. Whatever has come before is all part of the hazy and distant past. There's always washing and ironing and cleaning and polishing to be done in somebody else's big house in a safe and quiet place. There's always somebody else's children to fuss over to make sure they grow up straight and sound and take their place as the new boss man and misses to be served in the fullness of their time. When you need a hug, when you need a kiss, when you got a question that needs an answer, when you got a choice that needs to be made right or wrong, which one of these, the house is empty, or they just too tired? You find out early on that you need a family around, you call it a posse, your boys, a club, a gang, all you know is all you know. There's plenty of learning going on there, it don't take no rocket scientist to see it. Big Chucky is the man, the leader of the clan. He got a plan to put some change in your pocket. A little fold in green in your empty hand. So you can get the sneakers in the chain. A slice when you're empty. Manhood for you begins early. You got a job and a certain responsibility. A certain corner to serve and protect. And in your circle, you got respect. You could even help out baby mama and grandmama a little bit. If you get sent away, it ain't nothing to fear. It happens to all the young men here. It gives you a chance to really learn your craft for real. Cause the streets is mean on the block where you live. And if the candle is cut short, you go out like a warrior of old. It ain't nothing to fear. Cause it happens all too often to the young men 
on the streets and on the block where you 